Greetings and welcome to this video tutorial by Booster Addons. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a brief look out at the particle effects extension. A more in-depth guide will be coming soon, but this is more for an introduction and a quick summary. So what is the particle effects extension? The particle effects extension is an extension that can be applied to any element or section to create awesome animated backgrounds. Let's start by adding the section to our page. Let's set a height to 600 pixels. Let's also stretch the section. Let's go to style and add a background image. A background color can also be used. Position center center and size cover. Let's head back to layout and enable the extension. You can see that we have added these particles moving around in our section. Here we have the container Z index that can be used to fix any overlapping problems or to simply define the particle animation position in the stacking order of your content. And here we have the particle JSON settings. Now we don't have to read this code or understand it, it's simply going to be used to copy and paste your animations. The particle effects extension uses the awesome JavaScript library made by Vincent Garou named particles.js. Vincent Garou also provides an amazing interface that can be used to create these animations. Let's start by creating our first animation. Let's click on QuickTip. This is the interface provided by Vincent Garou. In the top right corner, you can find the options to change the animation. The particle section is all about particles. You can change the number, density, color, shape, size, opacity, and all kinds of options. The interactivity is going to be used to change how the animation interacts with the mouse movement, whether is it hovering or clicks. This is where you can change it. The page background is where you can change the background color. As well, I use, use an image URL. In our case, we are going to use the same image, like so. Let's create our animation. Let's head to particles, shape, and let's change the shape to, let's say, polygon. As well as go to size, and let's increase the size a little bit. Let's also change the length width to make it just a little bit bigger, like so. Now let's head back to color and let's use a black color like so. Let's go to opacity and let's reduce the opacity like so. Now let's head to movement and change the direction to bottom right like so. This is just a touch bigger than what we want so let's make it a bit smaller, like so. The top left you can see the number of frames per second, so you can know how light or heavy it's going to be on your resources. Let's change the value to something lighter, like so. Okay, this is just a quick example. Now that we are done, let's head to download current JSON, like so. Let's open it and simply copy this code. You can also save it if you want to reuse the animation. Now let's head back and simply paste it here. There we go, now we have the animation in our section. You can use this to create unique animations for your web pages. The options are unlimited. The link to Vincent Garo's profile page as well as the interface page can be found in the description. And this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.